Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well, I know that I am, and today we are going to tie up some loose ends for some side quests that we have not completed yet. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started though, let's go into our pit boy. I have gained two levels. We're going to put it into endurance. I know I said I was going to do it into ninja, but we're going to be going into the glowing sea soon. So we're going to want some rad resistance. I gained those levels by helping out settlements, by the way, building them up and taking them over. Or, well, not really taking them over, establishing them. We're just going to follow this around. We're pretty much done with all the bobbleheads and magazines. I believe we only have one or two more bobbleheads left. <coughs> not paying attention. Sentry bot. Die, sir. Um, I don't know why I crouched there, by the way. <laughs> like, it already seen me. Um, no, we want to go this way. Like I was saying, though, I think we only have one or two more bobbleheads to get. And then that's it. And maybe, like, six more magazines. Give or take. Over here is going to be a few robots. We'll have an Assault Tron and a Mr. Gutsy, so be careful. The Mr. Gutsy should be over here somewhere. Nothing I like better than a little R and R on Uncle Sam's jive. Ah, there he is. Oopsie. Did not mean to go into my pit boy. Sounds like we got a vertebird flying around somewhere. By the way, for those of you that may be like, that wasn't Croup Manor when I was talking about the Coastal Cottage, I apologize. That's Croup Manor. You can take that over as a settlement. The other place was the Coastal Cottage. I have no clue why I was calling it Croup Canner or Croup Canner. Oh my goodness. Words, Mr. Wayne. Croup Manor. But apparently that's what I thought it was. Looks like some Brotherhood of Steel over here. Oh, gunners. I'm the murdering scum? Oh, I think that it's the Minutemen, that's why. They were saying you murdering scum. My good karma's paying off. Good karma. There's no karma in this game. Everybody knows that. I am such a dork. I believe we will just start wrapping up the end game in the next episode and then we'll move on to the DLC far harbor next let's go inside this building we're just coming in here for a magazine nothing special percent. either Information updated. perfect 
His food and drinks are discounted at vendors. God, they are so noisy. Now let's roll out of here. We're going to go to Libertalia. Which I believe, and don't quote me, I believe it's um, supposed to be a fabled pirate city. I'm pretty sure. By the way, for those of you that are into settlement building, Croup Manor is a pretty cool settlement. The lighthouse, though, is by far the coolest. We're almost there. We're going to be taking a left here in just a second. I'm going to crouch because there's usually enemies in this building. We're going to pick up an Eddie Winters holotape in here. I'm not sure if we will do that side quest or not. It pertains to Nick Valentine, but it, if you want to, feel free. It's a pretty cool um, side quest. I think that's all of them. Grab the cap stash, and then we'll play the holo tape. Message to Sal Bosconi. You and I clearly need to talk. About Danvers, about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we'd both agree that our attempts to improve North-South relations have been a complete failure. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Montrano. But what happened in Danvers? I hardly know what to say. Your people turned that theater into a slaughterhouse. Those people are dead on your orders, not mine. And for no conceivable reason I can see. So let's meet. Just the two of us. Talk it all out. You name the time and place. Eddie Winter, signing off. Not gonna take out all the raiders on these uh, dinghies. Or tugboats. I think they're more or less tugboats, not dinghies. Wait for them to come over here. Or not. Just kind of guessing there. Now we're in caution. It's just a lot to walk through all that when we can just come over here. We can put on some Radex. And we can swim right over here. Well, I know you're here. I'll find you. Be sure to take out the spotlights though. Indeed. Find him and kill him. They probably seen me. Scared, but that's huh? okay. Should be. <sighs> no. Still in caution. That's good. Come on out. 
Now be very, very careful. There is a raider with a fat man, and you really don't want to take one to the face on that. Let's heal up. That was very, very close. There's some down here? But I killed everybody. Oh, I bet they're across the way. I'm not worried about those guys. Play engage with me, huh? Just making sure there's nobody else. If we come over here. We'll get a U.S. Covert magazine. Yes. Which raises our stealth face. capabilities. Come on. I dare you. Now let's go kill Wire, and then we can get up out of here. Well, we got to kill Wire and get a uh, legendary weapon. Hell yeah. I think it's Le Fusil Terribles? I don't know. I'm horrible with names. What the fuck was that? It's pretty easy to take out. Let's just loot him real quick. And then we'll loot this chest. And we're gonna go over to the map. And then we're going to go down to the Boston airport. So I'll see everybody over there. Sorry, everyone. I lied. We actually need to go to the Parson State Insane Asylum. And that is right over here. I forgot that we have to pick up uh, the artifact from Jack Cabot. Let's go get the um, gun he's been working on. Again, you have to, I believe, wait seven in day game. Or oh my goodness, can can you talk, Mr. Wayne? Um, in day or in game days. That's what I'm trying to say. In game days. Holy shit, that is a mouthful. Excuse me. Ah, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. You made a neat gun. Thanks. I hope you find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. Let's get out of here. By the way, I think that would be really cool to go back to the Mojave or have like some side mission in another Fallout game. Uh, where you go to the Mojave and discover, you know, a lost city. Kind of find Jack Cabot there or maybe one of his pupils. That'd be really cool. Just saying. Let's get out of here. We got to go return the Deathclaw egg. Oh, hell no. And as soon as we step out, we have a raider. Interesting. Another one?
anymore? Doesn't look like it. We're going to go back over by Lynn Woods. That's why I figured we would do all this first. This is just really quick and kind of turn in. All right. Random Brahmin just running through the road. Circle back around this debris stuff. Well, not stuff, but fallen trees and debris and all that. By the way, if you go all the way to the top there, you can set off a siren, and I believe a death claw will come out. Pretty interesting. I haven't done that in a very long time. We get close enough, we'll see the death claw kind of slide down. Pretty cool. Return the egg. Also, pick up the death claw gauntlet. And then let's put a level in. We're gonna do it into rad resistant. Hopefully we can get three more levels before the end of the game. Now we can go to the Boston airport. Have you ever fired a minigun? Choose through barrels like paper. Night. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Sergeant Gavel. Let me guess. Captain Kells sent you? That's right. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. If you'd like to run through all that dialogue, feel free. I just kind of uh, talk about what's necessary to save some time. Let's talk to Lucia. Copper wire. Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? I'm conducting an investigation into the missing supplies. The captain appointed an investigator? Is it really that bad? I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um, what do you want to know? What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it, and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? It was, uh... It was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. 
dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down, and hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark, he hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself, once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. So we essentially right. have to That's it for hide today. and follow him to see where he's going. It's not annoying, but just tedious. So you're going to go that way for a change? That's amazing. Please go out that door. Oh, usually he goes all the way around the airport and it is so obnoxious. Just don't let him see you. I guess you can if you want and he'll run after you get far enough away. He'll run to his destination. So to speed things up considerably. Come on, go inside, bud. Go inside the damn door, sir. Now we can go inside. There is going to be a ton of ghouls in here. So be prepared. If we come over here and we grab the uh, Knight Rylands hollow tag, that will help us out later. I mean, you don't have to grab it, but it does help. Have some more ghouls. That was a legendary. Ghouls shouldn't really be that much of a threat to you anymore. Besides, you know, if there's like a massive amount of them or you're playing on survival, then, you know, everything's a threat to you on survival mode. Food and water's a threat to you on survival mode.
And there's one over there. I know it. There he is. He was hiding behind the wall. Are you kidding me? Good lord. Another one right there. Just go around and take out all the ghouls you can. Try not to be as crappy of an aim as I am. Where did that ghoul come from? I will miss enemies at point blank range. I suck. Just saying. You can go down this way as well. There should be a glowing one. I'm not going to bother with him. They see me. Either they see me or the turrets see me, but the ghouls see me. Some more turrets up ahead. We'll try to take the turrets out before they kill all the ghouls. Try to get some more experience here. Maybe. Should be a ton of ghouls over here. Yep. Speaking of which. Jeez. the last of them now we can go talk to Clark come on give it a try there that's it not bad is it easy now hang on I'll get you some more Who's there? You. Initiate? What are you doing down here? I was investigating the missing supplies. It looks like I found them. Damn it! I thought I was being careful. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. You stole the supplies? Yes, Knight. I did. I'm in logistics. No one even questioned me when I took them out of the terminal. I've been bringing them down here at night to feed the ghouls. It's been working. So far. What do you mean, it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him too? Just because of who he is? No. See? 
You understand? I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away. But we... We kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. Kid, you did what you had to do. That's what Lucia said. But we could have stopped. We could have just driven them off. We didn't have to slaughter them. After the battle, I... I needed some time to think. I found this place. And the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. Do you... Do you think I did the right thing? Of course not. You betrayed the Brotherhood. You put all of our lives at risk. The Brotherhood is wrong. If we just kill everything we fear, are we really any better than the ghouls? What are you gonna do with them anyway? They're monsters, Clark. They have to be destroyed. No! No, I won't just stand by and let you kill them. Not again. I found this in the ruins. It's... It's Knight Ryland's holotag. He worked in the terminal with me. They killed him, didn't they? And as long as they're here, more knights are gonna die. I, I can't be responsible for that. And, and what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. Let's loot this real quick, and then we're gonna head up to the Pridwin. Going up. Lower level. We're just gonna fast travel to the Pridwin. It's faster than running all the way to the Vertibird and having it do it for us. Good talk to Captain Kells. My duty shift was long. I've just received word from Sergeant Gavel. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also, I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, Knight. Let's go outside the Pridwin, and then we're going to fast travel to um, a precinct to tie up one last loose end. The precinct is right here by Diamond City. It's precinct eight. We're going to go figure out what happened to Augusta. Take some rat away real quick. There's going to be some ghouls that pop out of there. I'm not going to worry about them. We have quite the walk.
Over here is a raider camp. Be careful. I'm going to crouch here in a second. We're almost to our destination. Augusta is in a hard location. We just got to take out a bunch of raiders and find the report um, on Augusta. And then we'll be able to head over to the railroad. And tell them what happened to Augusta. Also, this is where some raiders are hanging out. I think it's just one big raider base. Or this might be like their little outpost. Something like that. Where we're going is right there. I just didn't feel like fighting a bunch of raiders when we're about to fight a bunch of raiders. I believe there's raiders over there as well. Be careful, ghouls are in that cemetery up there. And then right here there should be, yep, blood bug. You can hack that terminal if you like. It's not a hard terminal to hack. This isn't anything like training. Shooting at plywood. Ah! Take out that turret up what top. Was that? Your death. That's what that was. I think we only have one more raider left. And then we can go down the elevator. Who's out there? Nothing there now. Got him. Let's take the elevator down. Going up. Or up. We'll take the elevator up, not down. Sixth floor. There's some loot if you go that way, but it's a dead end. I always get turned around in this place. You killed Glitchy. Should be a raider right here somewhere. Or coming up. Yeah. Okay, cut the shit. Ah! Who is that? Ha! Found you, sorry ass. Ain't my first gunfight. Shit! Ah! Eh, not bad if you're a shotgun build. Only a fucking coward hides. Now let's pick up the Augusta report. Ah! For update. Same thing, right? 
You can lockpick that door if you want, but it's really pointless. We can just get through there from over here. I mean, if you want to skip all this stuff, I suppose it's not that pointless, but I find I'll it to be very you. pointless. Because you can just go there and I don't know. It's not really a shortcut to me. When you oh! some loot over here, top down. Be careful. We are going to have a death claw over here, but it shouldn't be too bad. I killed it in one or two hits. I, I don't know. It exploded. Now we can stand up. Let's put some Radex on real quick. We'll grab this fusion core because we can. And then we'll open up the door. Just make sure you flip the switch on that breaker or that door will not open up. Let's crouch, go out the door. Let's take care of the bloat flies. bane of my existence. They're not hard, it's just I hate flying creatures in any game. Just of a just a little pet peeve I have. Okay. Oops. Keep going into my pit boy on accident. Sounds like there's one more. Yep. There he is. Let's fast travel to the railroad HQ. Pam needs you in her room. All hands lost at Augusta safe house. When it rains, it pours. Augusta safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of fires to be put out. We completed the Butcher Bills quest. Let's go ahead and end the video here. And when we come back, we will start um, the in-game quests. So on that note, I'd like to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.